I'm about to head out to try what just might be the ultimate compact vlogging camera. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Sudas Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. I'm just about to head out, but I couldn't leave without telling you guys all of this. I'm so excited because I'm about to check out the Canon PowerShot V10. If you don't know what that is, that's Canon's newest vlogging camera, and it looks a little different from what we have on the market right now. Main highlights include its teeny tiny size at 211 grams. That's crazy small and light, considering that I shoot most of my videos on my Fuji Film XS10, which is, by all means, is already one of the smaller interchangeable lens cameras out there. And yet, despite me repping this smaller camera, I still went out and got the Sony ZV-1 because I just needed something smaller that I could carry when I'm out and about vlogging. That being said, this tiny little camera excites me so much. Aside from the unique form factor, this thing also has 4K recording, stereo mics, image stabilization, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capability for transferring stuff to your phone, and even live stream capabilities. I want it. So yeah, let's let's go check it out. is a small camera. It's a very compact little thing, the size of a credit card. For reference, it's also lighter than a can of soda at 211 grams. It's so small, it can fit in itty bitty cute little purses. Up front, you have one button, the big red record button, so there's no confusion where to tap when you want to start filming. On the back, you have that screen which flips out and turns into a selfie screen. Then you have a stand that flips out up until the front. All the camera buttons and controls are also on the back here. And that screen, that's also a touch screen. Here, you can get to quick shooting modes. There are four, auto shooting mode, smooth skin movie, movie IS mode for those stabilized walking shots, and manual exposure mode. From here, you can access quick settings like exposure, autofocus, that digital zoom, or other camera filters. On the side, you get an HDMI micro USB port and a mic jack. On the other side, a USB-C charging port. Up top, you have those mics, of course. And the bottom gives you this mount, which I realized I didn't know what this thing, the hole that the screw thread goes into, I didn't know what it was called, so I had to Google. And surprise, it's called the tripod mount, the ISA. That also means that you can mount this camera on any tripod pod or even a Joby pod. Camera wise, this also has a number of features that will allow for more vlogging things. First of all, this tiny thing shoots 4K video and it's a wide frame. Trying to see how many people we can fit in this frame, it's actually quite wide so... Group picture! But like that... There's work over there. Okay. Yeah. 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 That built-in stand is also very convenient because it allows for so many angles. And I know I just said that you can mount this thing on tripods, but that also means you don't necessarily need to carry around a tripod or a Joby pod anymore. If you want to go out and about vlogging, you can just have it on the table and you're ready to shoot. Okay, so I absolutely love the fact that this thing goes both ways. I don't need a separate like tripod or a Joby pod. Just look at how my camera's propped up right now. Like for me to be able to effectively shoot with this camera, I need like a thing that props it up or a phone that I prop it up on but this thing you get all the angles so if I need to be like way up here doable if I need to be like wait flip it over if I need to be like down here for effect I can do that if I need to be down here it works out <laughs> Also so convenient the fact that the mics are over here so it's so ergonomic when you're like talking to your vlog. Hello. Hi. This also has IS mode. Walking and talking. This is what that looks like. Ooh, finding my light. 
The PowerShot V10 also reps face tracking, a 1 inch sensor, so that should do well in low light, and an ND filter feature so that you can vlog anywhere, even in bright sunny places. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to test all that out with the limited time we had with a camera this time, but I did test out, of course, their smooth skin feature. This is what the smooth skin on my face looks like. Although, you know, we always have that. For effect, we're trying out what it looks like on this camera. Smooth skin. Wait, actually, I can tip it over. Wait, no. Here. Smooth skin. Normal Isa. This thing is also able to shoot 15.2 megapixel images for, let's say, your thumbnail. the V10 also connects to the Canon Camera Connect app and from here you can wirelessly transfer photos and images or even control the camera. There's also streaming capabilities and you can use this camera as a webcam. It's plug and play. I'm personally a sucker for unique and useful form factors on cameras and there's so much to love about the PowerShot V10. 4K recording, that own stand, audio is sounding legit on it. Plus the fact that it will literally fit my tiny pan pockets. But there are still questions. Like, how will this fare in terms of shooting not yourself? I mean, I tried and even then it was a little weird with that new form factor. What if I wanted vertical shots for TikTok? Will it be awkward? And I don't think that's gonna be an issue because most camera form factors are like horizontal anyway. So. Though it did prove to be a little challenging when I did try it, I kept getting off center on this clip. Uh, <laughs> 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 girl, Mary, what's in your bag? What's in my bag? It's, you know, <laughs> it's the same camera you're using right now. It's the Canon V10. I love it! And also, of course, I'm missing stuff like weatherproofing or maybe a better way to prop up the phone for vertical shots. Nevertheless, it does seem like a dream camera for a specific demographic of vlogging content creators and I'm all for that. I really feel like I am the target market for this camera yet again. For its price tag, it's also looking like an accessible option for those who want to start creating videos with a dedicated camera. One thing's for sure, I'm definitely wanting to fully test out this camera and I'm truly excited to see which direction this brings future vlogging cameras. That's it for today. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time!